All righty, so um, I'm super excited because I have a lot going on with the channel. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, the channel has pretty much died off for the existence of what's going on in the world right now. Um, we haven't been able to travel as much. We haven't been able to go and do things. But that being said, we still have been able to keep the channel somewhat alive. Um, and a lot of that has to do with the, the inability to keep it fully active and fully alive has a lot to do with what I thought was depression. So for those of you that don't know me, um, I do suffer from depression and anxiety and I go through waves and I'm always figuring out ways to overcome it. And it usually ends up with me just having to go for a lot of night walks and listen to music and spend me time. Um, but two years ago, almost, uh, so last couple of winters, I think the first winter fest that Canada's Wonderland had in 2019, December, I got really sick with what I thought was pneumonia. Um, it happened at Winterfest. I remember Craig and I were interviewing um, some of the cast for some of the, the singing shows, and I got sick about 30 minutes later, and I had to leave the park. And that was the start of what I didn't realize a very long journey um, is what I think it is. So I don't know for sure, but basically I was sick for about three and a half weeks. So I got sick. I remember I was in the washroom throwing up and my mom had to come take care of me. And then I remember I tried to go to bed and I took Advil and Advil, every time I took an Advil, I got violently ill. Um, and basically it led into uh, a coughing fit and not being able to breathe. The worst body aches I've ever experienced in my life. Um, the worst fever I've ever had. It was I was both freezing and boiling hot at the same time. I couldn't sleep. If I even tried to talk, I ended up in a coughing fit that would last like five minutes. Um, it was absolutely terrible. And it was I almost went to the hospital. <laughs> and I remember it took me about three weeks, three and a half weeks to get better. Anyways, I passed it on to Craiga and my family. And oddly enough, the younger you were, the less the symptoms you have, and the older you were, it took you out. My mom got violently ill to the point where she collapsed on the floor from the body aches um, and the coughing, and it was just absolutely terrible. Ever since then, I've had extremely low energy. Thought I was just going through COVID depression. I thought I was just experiencing extremely um, you know, high anxiety. Um, so I've been dealing with that for a really long time, and I honestly was just like, hey, you know what? A lot of people are dealing with this. Just go through your daily life, blah, blah, blah. Well, I just got my vaccine exactly a week ago from this video, and ever since I got that vaccine, my energy level has quadrupled. I'm full of energy. I feel so much better. Um, and it could be for multiple reasons. It could be just because maybe I'm like finally like, okay, this is the beginning of, you know... Uh, a summer being able to happen. But nonetheless, I feel amazing. And I started to do some research and a lot of news articles were coming out, you know, with people with similar situations, people who had COVID, um, who were experiencing very low energy levels um, and what they thought was depression. And then it's suddenly going away after they got the vaccine shot. So that seems to have happened to me. Um, I feel so much better. I'm so motivated. I'm working on so much with the channel. And that is why I'm making the video today. So we have a new logo launching any day now. It is in the final phase of development. Um, and I'm super excited about it because it, it takes our very boring generic logo and it turns it into something very Canadian and what started the channel. Um, and on top of that, uh, we have a website in the works. We have Wonderland inspired merchandise, past rides, current rides with characters like super animated epic characters for each attraction so i'm super excited for you guys to see that um and uh yeah i'm really excited about that one because some of them are really cool the dragonfire shirt is gonna look amazing the yukon striker one absolutely epic um and then on top of it i'm working on some of the um attractions that are no longer there so zuma flume and uh Baron's Curve. So super excited about those because those are going to look pretty epic in what I've designed. 
Um, so it's excited to share that with you guys. I have hired an architect to help create something for a video. So I paid someone to literally put together kind of like this whole idea and concept I have for something. And I'm super excited about it because it's only the beginning because I want to hire someone else to do something for another park like Marine Land as well. So excited to show you guys that. Basically, I'm just super inspired and the content that's going to be coming out is going to cost quadruple the price that it'll even possibly make on YouTube. But I literally don't care because I'm just really excited to share it with you guys. And I haven't been this motivated about about something in a really long time. So I hope you guys like all the changes that are coming. Um, and uh, <laughs> honestly, I'm just like super motivated and it's super exciting. Like the, the fact that I wanna sit down and get in front of the microphone and record a video is really new to me because before even the drone videos that I would do once every three weeks, it was like a chore. It felt draining. It I didn't wanna go, I didn't wanna go film. And, but like, it was like the other end of the spectrum, I did want to go film. And it was like someone that wasn't me was telling me, no, you don't want to do this. But the old me was like, no, you got to go do this. You want to go do this. This is like you, this is like what you've been doing for so long. And finally, I just feel like myself again. And it feels really good to feel like myself again. Cause normally I'm like super full of energy and super bubbly. And I try to, you know, lead my life with posi uh, positivity. And it's just these last two years have just been really getting to me. And it just finally feels good to feel good. Anyways, that being said, I'm going to invite all of you who want to support the channel and get a heads up before anyone else on stuff to our Patreon. So we're going to be, uh, I've already posted the new logo, the Rough Draft, in its full entirety onto our Patreon for our patrons who have been supporting us over the last two years, regardless of hosting or not. So thank you for that. We did not deserve that whatsoever. So thank you. Um, we are definitely going to start posting daily there. Again, this is a new promise. Um, Hello. Okay, ladies. But yeah, super full of energy, super excited. Uh, as you can tell, I just forgot to leave Discord and I was halfway recording through this video and suddenly everyone was on mute, just came off mute and started talking. And it, <laughs> so yeah, I just had to quickly fix that. But nonetheless, uh, thank you for uh, those who have stuck around on Patreon, but there's gonna be daily content on Patreon. You're gonna see all the sneak peeks before anyone else. So the architect designing what I want for uh, Wonderland is gonna be, I'm gonna show little snippets here and there. The new logo's posted right now. And you're going to see the merchandise and be able to access the merchandise before anyone else. Um, but yeah, for as little as a dollar, like head on over there and support us. Again, all of our new content is literally mostly going to be non-for-profit pretty much. Because I'm just, again, really trying to elevate what Amusement Insiders is and make it more of a hobby instead of doing it for, you know, the ability to profit off some of these videos. So, you know, during the construction phase of Yukon Striker, I was very fortunate to make um, some good money with the views that the videos were getting. And now it's a new era. Now it's literally just about sharing my opinions on Canada's Wonderland and Ontario and Canadian parks and attractions. We have Jasm, who's about to launch a new series on the channel as well. Um, and I just, I couldn't be more excited. We're getting so close to launching our new podcast as well. So Craig and I, um, and, um, someone else will be doing a hopefully weekly podcast. It's really hard to hold um, Craig to that standard because sometimes he's got a lot going on, but I'll be doing a weekly podcast as well, um, going over some news and any just connecting with you guys. Anyways, thanks so much for watching my channel and being a supporter for this long. I just wanted to come out and explain what's been going on in my life because I have disappeared pretty much completely. Even on Instagram, sometimes I'll disappear for like a week. But yeah, thank you for sticking around and still watching my videos. And uh, yeah, thanks so much. Have a good one, guys. Bye.